Greetings all! Today, we will be examining the rare normal Dragon type Pokemon Drampa, the Placid Pokemon. While they might seem harmless and nothing to really ever worry about, Drampa are potent creatures that can make life a nightmare for anyone that dares to get between them and those they care for. Drampa have stout, teal green bodies with a pale grey ribbon of scales that runs on the underside of their neck and lower face as well as spots on their main torso with yellow eye hoods and soft, pink, pupilless eyes. Their arms, lower body, tail, beard, and head are covered in mop-like mats of white, fluffy hair which give the impression of clouds on their form and make them surprisingly soft to the touch. Drampa are a rare type of Dragon-type Pokémon that very few people get to see in their natural habitat as they generally occupy the tops of mountain ranges, generally at an altitude of 10,000 feet above sea level. As a result of this, there are usually few of the wild Pokemon that can survive in those conditions, making these creatures' lives at home a fairly solitary one. Unfortunately for Drampa, the berries that they enjoy eating the most are incapable of growing at this lofty height, so they must travel down a great distance from their homes in order to obtain the nutrient-rich food that they crave. This is not a serious problem for these beasts, as they are one of only a few species of Pokemon that can naturally learn the fly attack, though it is assumed that they do this by manipulating their internal reserves of draconic energy, as they have no actual wings to speak of. Even so, it does beg the question as to why exactly they need to live at such great heights, and the true answer is still a mystery. It is possible, though, that it might be due to the fact that they are often highly valued for the fluffy hair that covers them and are thus hunted by poachers, an issue that is only made more real by the limited numbers in the wild. Despite this, Drampa do not seem to hold this against all humans and are quite benign for the most part, even when intruders enter their territory. While most fully evolved Dragon-type Pokémon tend to be on the dangerous side, Drampa get their species title for a reason. When they feel like it, Drampa will often descend from their lofty homes towards towns on the surface of the earth in order to play with children that they like in the towns that sit at the base of their mountain homes. These dragons are highly caring and protective of children and enjoy playing with them a great deal, so long as the children do not tug on them too much or prove to be physically abusive, unintentionally or not, in turn making them one of the safest Pokémon that parents can leave their children with. It is unknown exactly why these creatures are so friendly towards children but it is at least thought that this disposition was partially the inspiration for a specific Chinese creation god, showing that the beast is considered to be a creature worth revering. For trainers, this means battling against and catching Drampa can be relatively easy as long as they are treated kindly and not battered too severely, but it is noted that these creatures will not stay placid in every situation. Because Drampa are quite protective of children, they will do anything in their power to keep them safe, if a child they are caring for is attacked and or hurt, these beasts will fly into a terrible rage and use their powerful Twister and Dragon Breath attacks to decimate the offender. Even though these attacks are normally only moderately damaging when used by other Pokémon, Drampa have such strong special powers that they can easily burn down an entire building with just a single Dragon Breath attack, often doing so to the homes of individuals that have bullied the children they attend to, making them a devastating threat against all that would dare to hurt those that they have taken under their care. This further plays into a signature base ability that only Drampa and Galarian Moltres can possess, Berserk, which automatically triggers a rush of hormones in the body and raises their special attack stat when they are reduced to less than half of their maximum HP. In addition, their penchant for regularly feeding on berries for sustenance has enabled them to develop Sap Sipper as another base ability, while those with more advanced draconic powers can manipulate the weather around them and have access to Cloud 9 as a hidden ability. This overall can make these creatures perfect babysitters in some cases when they visit children at school or in parks, but at the same time their ability to effectively raise their surroundings can make them a bit hard to handle and best approach cautiously in order to keep them from unleashing their wrath upon those that dare to even think about hurting their charges. With all of this said, in looking at their stats, it is quite clear that these creatures are pacifists for the most part, as the stats are not high in many places, especially regarding their base HP, attack, and speed stats, which are all below average for fully evolved normal and dragon-type Pokémon. However, at the very least, their base defense and special defense stats are above average for a fully evolved normal-type Pokémon, and their base special attack stat is above average for a fully evolved Pokémon of both their types, more than giving them the strength needed to be a serious threat from afar. Though seemingly benign and unlikely to prove to be a serious threat to anyone to ever worry about, Drampa are powerful beasts that can more than decimate those that dare to bring out the vicious caretakers in them. 
You might have some trouble working around their limited movement speeds, but when placed at a good distance away from their opponent, these beasts can more than vaporize those that dare to underestimate them. Just do yourself a favor and let them have fun with the younglings they often choose to share their company with. They might not mind some adults joining in on all the fun for the sake of it, but try to interrupt them and fight them, and you'll quickly find out why these dragon grandpas are no geezers worth confronting if you don't want to get your face blasted off. Thank you all for watching this video. It is always a pleasure to help teach others about the world of Pokemon and the many facets of it that exist in both the world we call home and the world they call home. If you'd like, please leave a comment and subscribe and ring the bell to this channel to get regular updates on content and anything else that might be going on. You can find me and my written work on DeviantArt under the name Utitis and be informed of information and content uploads on my Twitter page and my Patreon page. Donations are always welcome. Always remember, the world of Pokemon is a vast and varied place, and there's no telling what secrets might be hiding just around the corner. So keep watch, stay vigilant, and always prepare for the unexpected. Until next time, have a wonderful rest of the day.